Hello everybody, it's your boy Strasberg. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in the last few years, we have seen a few guitar pedals released that I would personally consider to be modern classics. Whether it's something like the Greer Lightspeed, the Plumes by Earthquaker Devices, or even something a bit more esoteric like the Mood from Chase, Chase Bliss Audio, they've all reached in my opinion, modern classic standards. And the pedal that we are talking about today, I think will shortly be joining them in the kind of hall of victory of modern pedals, if you will. It is none other than the one and only Slow Loris by Non-Human Audio. Now, Non-Human Audio was started by and run by Dave Jordan. Uh, I think it's just a one-man operation, it's just him. And the Slow Loris quickly took over the hearts, minds, ears and eyes of the pedal going public. Now, the Slow Loris is kind of simple to describe, but difficult to explain what it does. And I'll explain what I mean by that, in that in its simplest terms, it's a modulated slapback, basically. But there's so much more to it that, that, than that. And what it can do is so much more detail-oriented and complex. So you have two controls, very simple. You've got to mix up the top here, and then this is basically just a wet control or not a wet control, it's like depth, it's everything rolled into one, it's how much of the effect do you want, and as you turn it up, you get more of the effect, you know, down low it's a lot more subtle, up high it's ridiculous, and then the mix goes from the wet signal only being in there a little bit, to it taking over quite a lot, but never full dry or full wet, and the scope that this pedal has, the ability to kind of add something special to a signal chain, is unparalleled in my opinion it might be the most inspiring pedal i've played in quite a while and i was you know i was gassing after this for ages everyone was the the hype around these things was crazy and i tried a few times to get one through dave and i never could and then one came up for sale just on facebook marketplace for a really good price so i snatched it up sorry i didn't buy it directly from you dave but the pedal's still being used don't worry uh and at first i didn't get it at first, I was like, oh, it's weird, there's some noise going on, the, and I'm not a big user of vibrato, so it's like, the suddenly, like, pitch warbles were, like, really kind of aggressive at first, but the more I played with it, the more I realized what it was meant to do and how I liked using it, and if you've bought uh, a Slow Loris and you're looking up demos being like, oh, how do other people use it? That would be my biggest piece of advice is stick with it. Just keep using it. Keep playing around with it. It's got two knobs for Christ's sake. It's not a Chase Bliss pedal, all right? Find a setting that works for you and stick with it. Play around with it and uh, experience what I think is a certified modern classic. So let's get into some playing. First, we're going to just use the Slow Loris on its own uh, just to get a raw sound of how it sounds like. So obviously going to be a Slow Loris. We're going to be going into the... Uh, electronic audio experiment citadel set fairly clean going to be using my fender telecaster uh, and at the end of the chain there's going to oh the strum and flint will be on for just a touch of reverb because i can't play without reverb and the two notes audio cab m plus will be running a zilla cab uh whatever what they call it irs errs an err uh yeah so let's just hear how this bad boy sounds Bye. 
So obviously, you know, you heard the the sound samples there. It can be very subtle to very aggressive and picking dynamic plays such a big part in it. And I also want to touch on the noise. Uh, This pedal does have noise because it's like an analog thing. And at first I thought, oh shit, this is broken. But I looked up other demos and read on uh, the Dave's website that it's just a factor of the pedal. So yeah. Picking dynamic plays such a big part into how aggressive this thing can be, especially at lower settings. And hotter pickups will push it more and accentuate the noise a bit more. But, you know, the the telly's got quite medium output pickups, and I think it sits really nicely with this pedal. All right, so sound two. Let's try this bad boy uh, in between two gain stages so we can hear, does it work well before? Overdrive, or does it work well? Well, it works well on both, but let's see. You can decide. Would you do you like how it sounds before an overdrive or a fuzz or whatever, or after? Uh, and I'll talk about. I've changed my mind on where I want this pedal because of the playing clip you're about to hear. Spoilers. I've already filmed it. But yeah, so same signal chain as before, but we're gonna have the uh, uh, EAE Halberd before the Slow Loris and the Klon KTR after the Slow Loris. Let's check it out. So as you can hear, obviously the drive pedals were different. I don't have two of the exact same drive pedals, which would have been the best way to showcase that. Or I could have put more work in and filmed it and then swapped it around. But fuck that, right? I want to show off my cool pedals. So different sounds. And for a long time, up until today, I have been using this in like the place of a chorus pedal or a vibrato. Vibrato. I'm sorry, I don't have a stutter. I didn't mean to make fun of anyone with a stutter. Don't fucking cancel me, you dogs. Fuck you. I didn't do it. I usually use this in place of like a chorus or a vibrato. And that's where I've had it for a while. Ever since I've gotten this pedal, that's when I recorded the intro track. It was after all the drives, but before the wet stuff. It's always where I've liked to use it. But I've seen, I know that Dave himself uses it before drive. And I've seen a few other people have it very early on in their pedal boards. And after that playing segment, this bad boy is going right at the end. I think I'll be putting it after maybe definitely after my pog maybe after my phaser something like that i I think i'm gonna experiment put this guy first and see how it goes but yeah tell me let me know below do you did you like it before or after and if you have one how do you use it Uh, anyway third sound sample i figured this thing can do some very cool kind of faux whammy bar kevin shields type stuff so i thought i'd just have a bit of fun and throw up like a shoegaze thing so this bad boy first going into the Pariah Fuzz from God City Instruments, and then going into the Warus Audio Slow, and I'm using my Jazz Master instead of Telecaster. Apart from that, signal chain is the same. Let's fucking hear it.
that is it for the video. Uh, do you have a slow Loris? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I keep ripping off Anthony Fantano there. Um, yeah, I really like this pedal. It is in, it is inspiring and is fun. And I'm about to shrink my board down a bit for some touring and stuff. Oh, touring. Some shows I've got coming up with my band. And this thing's going on. No doubt about it. This bad boy's going on the board. But yeah. Uh, shout out to Dave Jordan. You make a six sweet pedals. I hope I can pick up some more. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Let me know how you, you are finding the Slow Loris if you have one. And um, which one of Dave's pedals should I get next? He's got some cool ones. But yeah, like and subscribe. Tell your mother you love her and fuck off.